Hey everybody, it's Nintendo Fan LP, and we're gonna start a new Let's Play Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. Once dragons and men coexisted. That's taking forever. <laughs> they shared a peace forged in wisdom. A peace that lasted many generations. All that was lost when mankind disrupted this balance in a sudden onslaught. You know, they really ought to speed up that text. I'm gonna, I, I wish I could change that, but I can't. Not, at this, not for now, anyway. Man fought Dragon in a savage war that shook the foundations of their world. I'm gonna do Obama for the rest of it. This war was called the Scarring. I'm uh, defeated and humble. Dragons vanished from the realm. And uh, I want to be clear, uh, in time, man rebuilt uh, something <laughs> and cast dominion amongst the land and onto the islands beyond. I didn't get to read the rest of it. I'm sorry. I messed up, I messed up some, word, some words. A millennium has passed since those dark days ended. Swords, lances, bows, axes, fire emblem. For the Game Boy Advance, the very first Fire Emblem to come to North America. But, I have to say, I haven't completed the game because uh, I only went up to Chapter 8, as you can see here. So everything before Chapter 8 is going to be a uh, uh, blind kind of thing, you know? So essentially uh, what happened was I told you that I really wanted to do Fire Emblem Awakening, but... I couldn't because I just realized I could have pressed B the whole time to just delete letters. But anyway, I want I couldn't because I don't have a, a capture card for 3DS, and those shits are expensive. They are really expensive. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to do Fire Emblem, the original Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. I could have done Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, but I'm just as far over there as I am in here. Uh, so I decided to do this. Prologue, Girl from the Plains. Are you awake? I found you unconscious on the plains. <laughs> Sorry, my nose. I promise I won't do that throughout the whole video. I am Lin of the Lorca tribe. You're safe now. Who are you? Can you remember your name? Your name is Andrew? What an odd sounding name. But, pay me no mind. It is a good name. You know, I wonder that if you say the same name as, uh, like, Lin, or like, Chrome in Fire Emblem Awakening, because Chrome says the same thing in, uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, if you say, like, your name is Chrome, or you say your name is Lin, well, they still say, that's an odd name indeed, or something like that, because you know, they even do that in Yu-Gi-Oh! Lucid of the Roses also, I remember. So I wonder, like, if you pick the same name as the person that's talking to you, will they say that? Because like, that'd be kind of funny. So anyway, Lynn just heard noise outside, and she's gonna go see what's happening. And there's two bad, bad bandits outside, and they're being bad people. Oh no, bandits! They must have come down from the Burn Mountains. They must be planning or raiding the local villages. I, I have to stop them. If that's all of them, I think I can handle them on my own. You'll be safe in here, Andrew. What? You want to help? Well, can you use a weapon? Ah, I see. So you're a strategist. By trade? And not profession, but... Very well. We'll go together. So essentially, that's me We're over there in the bottom right. Uh, over here. If you want to help Andrew, I could use your advice. I'll protect you, so stay close to me. Unit information. Lynn is the blue unit. The enemy units are red. Andrew, you are green. <laughs> I find that funny. I'm sorry, because my last name is Green. And so my name is Andrew Green. It's like, Andrew, you are green. It's like, yes, I am, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> All right, so basically, um, we're strategists. Now, the thing that's different, obviously, and uh, this is just a tutorial kind of a uh, quick run, th run through on what's uh, going to happen. So I'm going to just I'm just going to skip all this dialogue cuz it's really unnecessary. Um, but uh, the thing that's different here in this game than Fire Emblem Awakening uh, is that in Fire Emblem Awakening you're a tactician, right? Um, however, you're able to use swords and tomes and uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, but you can't hear, you can't play as yourself in here. Anyway, very quickly, you see this is uh, 
a little preview of what's going to happen. So HP, if you guys don't know, if you guys don't play Fire Emblem, I'm going to explain it to you. HP, you see right here, 20, 16. The bandit has 20 HP, we have 16 HP. That's health. MT just is uh, the amount of damage you're going to do. So he's going to do 10 damage to us, and we're going to do 14, because you see it's times 2. Because if we have enough speed over the other person, we can attack twice. And the hit is the percentage that you'll you'll hit him. So but basically we're at hundred so we're definitely gonna hit him because you're a hundred it's a hundred percent chance you're gonna hit him. Meanwhile it's a thirty nine percent chance he's gonna hit us. So it's not looking good for him, it's looking great for us. Critical hit uh three percent. Uh that's not bad, you know, it's better than zero. <laughs> so let's see here. Can we get a critical? Nope. I love this music too. Alright. So he's gonna attack us now. Oh man, that's not good. And you're dead. <laughs> so you can see the arrow in the bottom. Iron axe is down. Iron sword is up. So basically, think about it is like uh, kind of uh, rock paper scissors. Um, swords are better than axes. Axes are better than lances. Lances are better than swords, and so on. So that's uh, how it is. Uh, we're gonna go over ahead, go over here, and they also want us to heal up. So we're gonna go ahead and use a Volinary, heals 10% 10 10 uh, 10 units of our HP, I guess you could say. It's not really 10%. Thank you, Andrew. Now, let's get that brigand over by the Gur. A Gur is this thing. <laughs> Alright, attack! Iron Sword! Boom! Who do you think you are? You think you can stand up to Bada, the beast? Hey, Bada Bada Bada! Hey, Bada Bada! Swing, bada bada. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's see here. So we better hope he doesn't hit us because uh, she's done for. As you can see, his hit is gonna be—it uh, does 10 damage. But not to worry, since this is a tutorial, he will automatically miss, and we will automatically get. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, uh, critical hit. That's what I'm talking about. What? How did, how did, how did you... Oh, I'm dead. And Lin leveled up. So basically leveling up, that's how your units are going to get better. Now oh, that's a, that's a nice level up. <laughs> that's a nice level up. I like that. Um, you're going to find me comparing this game to Fire Emblem Awakening a lot because I just love Fire Emblem Awakening so much. Like the best game on 3DS, you know, it's like one of the best games I've ever played in my life. I love it so much. And, uh... So basically, you gain experience. Oh, I'm just gonna skip that because I can tell you in a better way. Basically, you gain experience, and as you gain experience, you level up. So you will uh, level up in different ways than you can. So it's not always gonna be the same way. Like you might level up. Uh, Good morning, Andrew. Are you awake yet? I am now. So you might level up like your magic and your skill and your HP once, but the next time you might not level those up. You might level your defense, your res, or something like that, you know? So anyway, let's continue. That fight yesterday must have taken a lot out of you. Say, Andrea, I want to talk to you about something. You have some experience in the ways of war, I can see. Would you allow me to travel with you? Yeah, man, but you know, you're underage, man. You gotta ask your mom and dad, so come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> you want me to ask something? <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, fuck. Oh, I feel bad. Actually, uh, I'm actually legitimately sorry that I said that joke. Even though it's a video game, you know, and it's not like real life still, it's, it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> I promise I won't curse anymore either. I just... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so funny. Like, ask your mom and dad, man, you underage. Like, my parents died. I was like, shoot, that's not good. Bandits attacked and they killed so many people. The tribe was scattered. My father was our chieftain and I wanted to protect our people. But I was so young and our people were old fashioned, they wouldn't follow a woman, no one would follow me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been alone for so long. No, no more. I will shed no more tears. Thank you. I'm better now. Andrew, I want... I must become stronger so I can, I can avenge my father's death. Yesterday's battle taught me something. I won't become stronger by sitting here alone. Andrew, tell me you'll train me, and you'll let me travel with you. I will. You will? That's wonderful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We'll be better off working together. I know it. 
You'll be my master strategist, and I'll be your peerless warrior. I hope I said strategist the right way. I feel like I said it wrong the first time. We can do it, right? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Okay, I'm kidding. I won't do that. Travel with Lynn, Andrew. Give her your aid and master the art of bending. I mean combat. You must master the four element. I mean combat. Complete the task set out in each chapter and help Lynn in her quest. Dude, Legend of Korra today. Oh my gosh. That was a... That was some episode. Jesus Christ. I won't say anything, but you know, spoilers. But freaking Kavira, gosh. The next week is going to be two, uh... Two different, um... Two episodes in one, so it's gonna be an hour long. I can't wait for that. The apprentice tactician Andrew and the young swordfighter Lin, a strange pair on an even stranger journey to prepare for the long road ahead. To to protect the world from devastation. I was gonna say to prepare the world for devastation. I was like, no, that's not the way how the theme goes. But anyway, they go to Bulger, the commercial center of Sakai. Unbeknownst to Lin, she will discover something that will alter her life forever. And that thing that she will discover that will alter her life forever, we'll discover in the next episode. Next on Nintendo Fan LP on Fire Emblem, Chapter 1, Footsteps of Fate. And that is it for this episode. Next time on Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance, we're going to go ahead into Chapter 1. I promise you that the later episodes going to be much better than the first one, because... We are actually going to do battles and everything. It's going to be really fun, all right? See you guys next time. Can't wait.